ERP makes businesses more efficient. It makes businesses more profitable, gets employees paid on time, lets management make smarter and more strategic decisions, and even gets your products to your customers. Sounds pretty cool, right? Okay, so now that we know that, what exactly is ERP? ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning. Easy enough. We can all go home happy. Unless, of course, you never got around to taking that course in school entitled Big Business Terms that got shortened into authoritative acronyms to make them sound more credible. The reality is that ERP is an umbrella term for a very complicated type of software solutions. Sorry if you were looking for a simpler answer. Let's see if we could take a few minutes and introduce you to our new friend ERP and talk about how it could really help your business. So you wake up one morning with an idea for a new product. A good idea, maybe even a great idea. But your idea and a couple of bucks might get you a cup of coffee. What do you do? How do you make or get that idea turned into a product that customers like so much they want to give you money for it? You often start with making your idea into a design. When you start to design your product, you need to define it exactly, maybe even draw it out. ERP doesn't do that. What ERP does do is to help you start compiling a list of all the materials you'll need if you ever want to eventually build your product. While you go through the design process, ERP will let you estimate what making each unit will cost and how you decide to price it. Hopefully, your price exceeds your cost and you discover that this idea of yours might actually fly. Now you decide to transfer that design to manufacturing. No matter how pretty your design is, customers won't give you money for it, any more than they would for the bare idea. So now you have to make your two-dimensional idea into a three-dimensional product. ERP helps out here as well. It allows you to set up a supply chain, bringing all the necessary materials together to build your product. Vendors from all over can be accommodated by ERP, which can send them purchase orders for those materials. When the materials are ordered, the schedule for their delivery, shipment instructions, payment for these materials, and eventually their arrival and receipt can all be handled by our new friend ERP. These materials can even be identified in the warehouse using straight logistics, barcodes, or even radio frequency. ERP will handle all that for your business as well. Maybe your original idea was not to make or design your product, but buy it from somewhere else and distribute it into a new market. ERP doesn't mind. It will take care of you all the same, tracking your inventory of raw materials or bought goods for resale without showing any favoritism. While all this making or buying is going on, you've sent out a sales team to find those customers out there who desperately want to give you money in exchange for your brand new product. Their job is to get those orders rolling in. Your ERP will obviously take care of those orders, but can also keep track of the salespeople's territories and their commissions. And then the day arrives. Customers appear over the horizon, eagerly waiting to give your product a new home on their shelves. ERP will welcome those customers in and take all their information for them. It will help you keep track of all their many wants and needs, including the fact that they want your product to be customized just for them. And when they say, the check is in the mail, you could trust their credit for 30 days to the extent of $200,000. ERP accepts their orders and will automatically figure out what is needed to fulfill them, how long it will take, and what you should charge for those orders, including all the local sales tax deductions. In the case of really big and demanding customers that are using something called EDI, an ERP will often include an electronic data interchange module as well. ERP will help you fulfill those orders. If you're in the distribution business, ERP will tell you how much inventory you have on hand, where it is physically sitting, and give your packers instructions on what to pick and put into the containers for those customers. ERP will arrange the shipments to get your product to your customer, fill in the paperwork for you, even the custom stuff to get it over national and international borders. ERP also determines what each of your packers get paid, writes the checks, and makes automatic deposits for them. If you actually manufacture the products you are selling, ERP will translate sales orders into detailed work orders, outlining each step of putting your product together. How much material it will take, the labor involved, quality assurance processes, and even what tools or machines are needed in the manufacturing. It will pay your production staff by the hour, or maybe by the work done, or even a mix of both. ERP knows what your team knows and makes sure that people are assigned to jobs that they are trained for. It will track where the finished goods go and how they eventually get put into containers to fulfill orders and then shipped, just like with distribution. All this information allows it to compile some pretty amazing reports and statistics. So management can make themselves look all-knowing with very little effort. That's part of their job description, right? A live dashboard of what is going on throughout the company is available so decisions can be made on an up-to-date informational basis. Not that running a business by the seat of your pants every day is exciting, but our friend ERP is a little vain and avoids getting gray hairs. 
ERP will also help you put together your financial documents for filling in your taxes and submitting your remittances. So what does ERP do? A lot. And that was only a very basic description. ERP is pretty modest, so we won't get into consignment, contractor tracking, handling credit notes, or bulk orders. Here at Jonar, we have been in the ERP business for 25 years now, and we're still finding new things it could do to make businesses better. We think we're pretty good at it for a few reasons, but first and foremost because we listen to our customers. Most of our features have been things that we have built over the course of the past quarter century in response to customer requests. We usually even get those requests built in days or weeks instead of months or years. Give us a call sometime. There's always a person at the other end of the line, and we'd be happy to tell you more about our friend ERP.